An 11 day manhunt over as police dash cam captures Casey White's arrest on the hood of a squad car. This unlikely duo fell in love and literally tried to run away together, but their twisted love affair ended in a high speed police chase and cold blooded murder. This episode, we're looking at what caused a highly esteemed corrections officer to help a convicted murderer escape from prison. Here's everything we know about the crazy story of Casey White and Vicki White. Despite having the same last name, these partners in crime aren't married or related. Towering at six foot nine and weighing nearly 300 pounds, inmate Casey White was serving a 75 year prison sentence for a slew of violent crimes. Casey's reckless behavior began in his early 20s. Records show that Casey had dozens of arrests for traffic violations and public intoxication, and even a domestic violence case against his own mother. Then in 2012, Casey was sentenced to three years behind bars for beating his brother in the face mm. and head with the handle of an ax sledgehammer. Then in 2015, Casey went on an all night crime spree that included a home invasion, two carjackings, and multiple shootings that left a dog dead and a woman injured. Casey was convicted of nine charges, including attempted murder, kidnapping, burglary, robbery, breaking and entering a vehicle, and animal cruelty. He was subsequently sentenced to 75 years behind bars. While incarcerated, Casey confessed to the unsolved murder of Connie Ridgway. During a home invasion, Casey stabbed the 58-year-old mother to death in her living room. He then later recanted his confession, pled not guilty by way of insanity, and he eventually ends up in county jail while he's awaiting trial for this heinous crime. And this is where Casey meets Vicky, a decorated corrections officer who also just happened to be the second in command at her facility. Vicky was said to be like a mother figure of the jail and was known to take prisoners under her wing. Vicky was popular with the staff and even won the Employee of the Year Award four times during her 17 year tenure. Vicky and Casey's love affair began two years prior to the escape. They would often communicate over the phone and Vicky was known to give Casey special privileges and extra food. Casey knew that part of Vicky's role was to oversee inmate transportation, so she made for an easy and vulnerable target. Vicky's ex-husband, who she had a complicated relationship with, had died earlier that year, which may have been partly why she fell so hard for Casey. Preparing to flee, Vicky sold her house five weeks before the escape purchased a Ford Edge under a fake name, bought a new wardrobe, and was even later spotted at an adult sex store grabbing toys for her romantic getaway. With their plan in motion and ready to go out with a bang, Vicky was set to retire on the day that they disappeared. Checking to ensure that the booking guards were away at court, Vicky informed authorities that she was transporting the inmate for a mental health appointment. Using her status, she convinces the staff to break protocol, allowing her to transport an inmate without backup. Surveillance Surveillance footage shows the pair casually exiting the detention center. Vicky escorts Casey, who is constrained by shackles and handcuffs, into her police vehicle. Hours later, authorities notice that the two never returned from the appointment that didn't exist. By now, the fugitives have disposed of the getaway car and switched to a pickup truck they bought for six grand. A short time later, Casey is spotted at a car wash and the sighting is reported to the police. Major news and media pick up the story. And coverage of the escape goes viral. A bizarre crime orchestrated by an unlikely pair. After the news spreads, they ditch the truck and switch to a Cadillac. The search turns into an 11 day manhunt. Officially on the run, they take refuge in a hotel in India. Indiana. They celebrated Casey's freedom hidden inside of the motel while Vicky fulfilled her fantasies of a bad boy romance. Cops received a tip that the two were traveling down the highway in a Cadillac and the high speed chase ensued. With nothing left to lose, they refused to stand down for the police. The car is eventually rammed, forcing it to roll over to a stop. Law enforcement swarms in and slams Casey against the car. They pull Vicky from the smoking vehicle and realize that she has been shot in the head. They also found multiple guns, $29,000 in cash, and a series of wigs inside the car. The capture officially concluded the two-week search for Casey and Vicki White. Vicki is taken to the hospital, where she later dies from a single gunshot wound to the head, and Casey was charged with the murder of his partner in crime. Interestingly, in the weeks following their capture, the specific motel room in which Vicki and Casey stayed became highly sought after, with the waiting list for the room reaching over 60 bookings.